So guys, quick video right here. Well, it's not going to be quick. You know how my videos are. Timestamps will be included. Kobe True Wireless Ultra Slim Earbuds. Now, if you look at these, a lot of you guys won't realize this, but this is basically a replica of the Galaxy Bud Lives that came out a couple years ago. They're one of my favorite headphones. I really did wish uh, Samsung made another pair of them, but apparently I guess they weren't really that popular. Now with this particular pair, it says right here up to 16 hours of battery life. So we do have to check the battery life to see how long the earbuds last. I'm assuming with the case in earbuds it lasts 16 hours. Hand-free calling, light and compact, snug fit, auto pairing, which basically means take them both out of the case. They'll automatically pair to left to right and then you can sync it inside of your Bluetooth. So be aware of that. And tap controls, which the old ones have tap controls. And I'm guessing the outside of right here of the earbud itself is tap controls. And before we unbox this thing, let me just show you a little bit more. They do come with some gel tips. It says right here, USB-C, so that is a good thing. True wireless earbuds. Doesn't say anything about wireless charging because the original case is wireless charging for Galaxy Buds. Remember, this is nothing but a replica. Uh, Bluetooth 5.0, and they do have 33 feet range, and it says charging time in hours. So I'm very skeptical about a lot of these specifications. But with that being said, let's unbox this together and see if it's actually worth using. So I do have to put these to the side because there's a little glare, the ceiling right in front of me, well, over my head. And if I look at these right away, I'm going to be honest with you, I only purchased these. They're only about $14.99, I believe. I forgot how much it costs at the taxes. So it might actually have been cheaper than that. It says $14.99, but they're a little bit cheaper than that because it was like $15 and some change. Uh, no, $14 and some change when I got it at the taxes. So when you look at the case right here, I was having trouble getting the earbuds out of this. This is, I'm not going to say it's identical, but it is very close to how the Galaxy Bud case is and weight and, well, I don't know about weight, but feel. Now, I do actually have a Galaxy Bud case and I'm going to check with this to see if it fits, but the design is definitely different, but it's close. It's very close. Like right here, you have the little button on the outside to let you know the battery life. USB-C is in the back as you see right here. Um, normally, wireless charging would be down here, but you could definitely tell now that I'm holding the case that it definitely feels cheaper than the actual real Galaxy Buzz Live case. But it still feels, I'm not going to say premium, but pretty good. You know, some headphones are so cheap, you can just tell like they feel like they're going to break in the first day. And if you look right here, we do have the earbuds. Well, and I like these. I've always loved the way the Galaxy Beans fit. They fit very well in the ear for me. I never had an issue with them. And it still did a good job of active noise cancellation and things like that. But unfortunately, this is the Colby edition. So my guess that this doesn't have active noise cancellation properly. And as you can see, the light is blue. The light is red. It's letting you know that the earbuds are actually charging. There were no contacts underneath them. So I'm guessing that these earbuds are probably 100% dead. Be aware of that when you get them outside of the box. And if we take this out, we have the USB-C that's right here. I am definitely not going to use that. We have the earbuds that are right here and they're only come in large tips and I guess the mediums that come on it. That's it. Normally you get two sets of tips, like a small and a large, but again, it's Kobe. And the fact that they did this much is surprising to me. So I'll leave it at that. And lastly, this is the most curious part that I am. What is the battery life on these? That's what I'm concerned about because it says up to 16 hours, but it doesn't tell me how many hours per charge. So I'm guessing it's either eight hours in one earbud or four hours, four times. It doesn't say. It does not say. So I'm just going to go through this right here for you guys that are wondering what's going on. Uh, let me go back so you can take a screenshot. If you have this product, you may have lost it and you don't have the booklet anymore. So I'm just going to flip through this so you guys can just take a quick photo of it. All right, each one, how to pair, voice assistants, how to make phone calls, use their controls and whatnot. And that's it. So it says, okay, so here we go. Charge time is two hours, the charging case itself. The earbuds take about an hour and a half to charge, so there's that. We're looking at playtime up to seven hours with charging case, excuse me. Earbud playtime, three hours. Well, this thing says it can get up to 16 hours. So this is a little confusing right here, but it does have 10 millimeter drivers, Bluetooth version 5.3. Seriously, I thought it said 5.0 before, but I guess it's 5.3. All right. ABS and metal. Surprising. 
<laughs> I'm a little worried. Uh, Playtime with charging case up to seven hours. That is wildly different from what the box actually says. According to this box, it says that you get a total of 16 hours. This is saying that you get a total of seven hours. So I do have to test that. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, use these for a little bit. Now, this is just an unboxing. I'm going to use them for a couple days. And we're going to come back to the same exact table. <laughs> and then I'm going to record. Re-record. Not Sorry, not re-record, but record uh, the experience I had with the earbuds. So stay tuned for that one. Oh, Lord have mercy. So, guys, um... <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh because what I'm about to say is, uh, is going to contradict some people's experiences with these headphones. Um, originally, I looked online to see if there were any reviews for it before I actually purchased these at uh, Ross, right? I figured maybe someone heard of these. But when it comes to Kobe's and other low-end name brands, it's hard to find reviews for it. So, you know, I purchased it. Like we talked about it before, it was only $14.99. So, I'm not going to show you how to sync them. I am not going to uh, show you anything else about this headset. I am going to tell you, do not purchase these. They are absolute garbage. They're horrible. The battery life is not what it actually claims. Let me explain. First, it says the battery life on the case is 16 hours total, right? 16, where's it say? 16 hours total battery life. But in the instructions, <clears throat> which I didn't even bother testing this because I honestly don't care. The instruction says you'll get about three hours on with the air and then seven with the case, which makes no sense. The math is completely off. I don't even know how they even got that information, even though every website says they last for about five hours, six hours per charge. Right. I do not know if that is true, and I'm not willing to figure that out. And I'm going to explain why. The quality of sound in these are absolutely horrendous when i say horrendous we're talking these are worse than listen five below headphones like these way better a hundred times better outside of the physical look and the shape and the feel there is nothing else going for these As a matter of fact when you shake it hear that that's the earbuds shaking inside they're not even there's not even strong enough magnets to keep them in place so occasionally when i open it up they're not even connected sometime, and I got to kind of like reconnect them and put them in the right spots to make sure that the lights come on. Right now, they're fully charged. You can't see that. But as I was using them at work, <clears throat> let me explain something to you. Normally, when I do reviews, I'll do an unboxing so you guys can see it, take it home, use it for a certain amount of time every day with my computers going to and from work so I can tell you if I like them or not based on my lifestyle. Remember, your lifestyle is different. Here's the problem with these. The sound is god awful i cannot how do i describe it if you imagine <laughs> I, I don't even want to use that example because it's a family channel okay so let's say you was to put a three or four tiles over your face while yelling that's how the music sounds the bass is awful the tremble awful the the vocals awful call quality awful everything about this is awful we don't need to talk about, oh, how great is the music? Don't waste your time. I listen to what I'm saying to you. Now, for people out there that don't have a standard for headphones, meaning I go through tons of headphones on this channel. From the, It's 400-something videos. Probably at least 100 and something of them are headphones alone, probably, realistically. Or maybe even 200 of them of videos are headphones on this channel. This is horrible. The quality of sound is extremely muffled. Even when I had it at 60, 70, 80%, it still felt very, very low. Basically, like I said before, a five below pair of headphones gave me better quality sound and call quality than this headset right here. I cannot stress enough how much you should stay away from these. Even though they're only like 14 or $17 on Amazon, I originally I was gonna post a link for people that wanted it after I tested it out. But the moment I synced them and the moment I used them and talked into them and I'm in a area with my wife she's like why you sound like all ugh. I feel like you're using an older phone she started making fun of my phone I'm like it's not even my phone it's the headset <laughs> the moment I turned it off she said oh you're clear again exactly girl I have 5g and everything on my phone it, it, it may not be the highest in one plus device but it is certainly better than these. these these are horrible I can't believe they sell these 
If Kobe did go out of business, thank God, because y'all guys should not be making headphones this bad. There is no reason for anything this price tag to be like this. And I know some people will say, where's well, normally $20 regular? Guess what? You can get a pair of JLab earbuds for 20 bucks. You can get a pair of Skull Candies that I did on a channel with like an eight hour battery life per ear, and they only cost $20. These are horrible. The best thing about them is the case, the way it looks, the design, the design of the earbuds, there is nothing else good about these. I'm not willing to test out the battery life. I already did the call quality, I did the music quality, and both of them sucked tremendously. We're talking, I can go outside on my scooter, I, you know, I'll go on my lunch breaks, and I can hear everything around me. Not because of the in-ear design. Understand that the original Galaxy Bud of these are much louder than these. Understand that. They sound great. These do not. These are horrible. They are horrible. And I'm just gonna say it a couple more times absolutely terrible you know what this is this is like playing saints row remake that's what this is they're horrible this should have never been made no amount of updates can fix this they purposely put parts and components in this headset they did not care about their customer this is a piece of junk maybe back in the day before apple made AirPods and you know everything was super popular remember when fye was a thing remember that store where they sold earbuds and stuff you might better get away with this because it's that type of store but in the grand scheme, in the marketplace of headphones that you can get for $10 and cheaper and, and up, it's it's too much variety to ever pick something like this. If you're at Ross and you see these Kobe's, do not buy them. I'm going to tell you now, for the same price of $14 or $15 at the taxes, whatever it costs, I forget, you can go and buy something better on sale. You can get the Go Lab, I mean the J Lab Go Pops for like $13, $14, maybe $12.99 on sale on Amazon when they have sales. Regular price is like $20, $25. And it's substantially better than this. And I don't even suggest those headphones. And even in that price range, you can find something better. Hell, I just did a review on some Anchor A20Is. They cost me 23 bucks. You might be able to find them for 20 bucks online when there's Amazon sales and whatnot shipped directly to your door. And they are a thousand times better than this. This is horrible. Do not buy this product. I just spent six minutes talking to you about how horrible this product is. Now, there are going to be some people that might see this review later on and say, oh, I love my product. I love my product. I'm not here to tell you not to like it. I'm just saying for the price tag, you can do so much better effortlessly. This is just terrible. But anyway, like and subscribe like always, and I will see you guys in the next video.